Okay, Mr. Happy White. Wednesday, Mr. LeBay. Happy Wednesday, how are you? Doing all right. Awesome. Nice, good solid day. Um, I think we should take to the air tonight. What do you think? Uh, sounds good. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I was gonna make a uh, Tom Cruise joke, and uh, ah. then I just, I just, it kind of fell out of my head halfway through. But uh, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm a maverick. Wow! Uh, so, wow! Anyway, well, yeah, well, let's fly. I mean, I just, I want to, um, yeah, I want to look at Fubi tonight. What's mm -hmm. gonna happen? I just, you know. I have faith in these guys. It's a tough technique. I mean, because it's easy to have a headbutt kind of come in and someone can get a big goose on their forehead. Mm -hmm. uh, people, uh, you know, if, if they're working safe, you know, we'll, we'll step them up to it a little bit. They'll yeah. be fine. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to get into just the feeling of being able to move, be mobile, be kind of free, fly around a little bit, let people try to hit you and just and catch air the whole time. Nice. Uh, that's uh, that's what I'm looking for, I, I think, as part of this uh, flight school today. Yeah, no, I, t I totally agree. I mean, and some of the sleeping skills, it's very hard because people really put a lot of stuff on it. You almost have to be ki kind of like, you know, Iceman solid, mm -hmm. you know, when you move <laughs> through stuff. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's going to be a test for them to not have all everything kind of Well, you definitely don't want to flap it around like a goose. No, know? no, you no. Like well, you, never, you look too much like a jester, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. That would not look good, but uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. Gonna, that's a great way to find yourself grounded. Let's have fun. <laughs> all right. That's a way. All right. So, if you haven't caught on to the sneaker, they have to listen, by the way. Tonight we're flying. All right. A lot of things we typically do, we stay pretty ground, grounded. Uh, but tonight we're actually going to look at some things that actually get us moving up in the air, back and forth. So we're going to start with, um, well, we're going to start with a version of this thing from Shinden Furyu called Fubi. It means dominate. We're going to look at kind of the grounded version first just to get you used to it. And then we'll go into the more high flying aspect. All right, so the attack is basically someone coming in like this. All right, it kind of starts with this kind of cross grab. You're going to try and do this or something like that. You know, like hold that. We can do it from here, but just for authenticity and also, too, it helps give a better um, stability to going through this whole thing later. Here. All right, so that's coming in. He comes into that. I'm going to come in, get right back to him. All right, from here, I'm going to shift off to the side. So this translates to dominate. Okay, just, yeah. Like, yeah. just to let you know. <coughs> yeah. Um, because it, yeah, it does. Watch out for the throat. It's uh, right there. I'm going Matt so you can see it. So Matt's going to grab me. I'm going to just grab him like, whoa, I'm going to grab him back. All right. Now, because of this footing, I'm going to basically shift weight, step off to one side, almost like I was going for an Asoka. All right. But from here, I'm going to then put my feet up. Yeah. Yeah, this is the nice version. Okay, this is the nice version. We're gonna take him down from there. Um, match it with somebody roughly your own size. All right, this will be more difficult. In a second, I'm gonna have you go with somebody a little bit of a different size. Um, the high flying aspect of it. All right. Uh, hand and mat. Hand and mat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iron mouse. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go. So, so one of the things, especially when you're first looking at this, is it's like, oh, you're kind of tied to somebody. You're both going to the ground. There's potential slam. Uh, opportunity there, so everyone's being uh, being very safe, uh, which is which is nice. I appreciate that. Uh, if you undercommit your weight to this, you're gonna have a bad time. So what that looks like is I've stepped, but you can kind of see right now I'm I've got maybe 60, 40 uh, on weight. We need to we need to really take this through. At this point, as Mr. White pointed out earlier, this leg can come up independently. Now the leg can switch weight up on the top, and now you're. So use that weight, yes sir. When you lift that leg over, are you kind of pivoting your hips as well? There is a bit of a natural turn to that, yes. Um, they may, this may work out where they fall straight backwards. Since your hips pivot, they might turn a little bit with that fall. Uh, it's not um, to, to, lend some, uh, to lend a little bit of clarity that it's not this, and then I'm trying to go this way. Uh, I, I have to turn the hips some, they're gonna come over this way. So you can see we've had a little bit of circularity. We didn't fall down quite straight backwards. Good question, good question. It does tell you what's happening in the hips today. Uh, keep going. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now let's look at the setup for a second. So I got Hank, the bendy little bastard. All right, he's grabbing, I'm grabbing it in. As this starts, I'm actually gonna roll this hand up a little bit as I take this, so I can really start to bend this way. So now, if I were to go straight into him, he'd back off and be able to adjust for this. This is harder. 
He's already almost flat. So now my step over whoa, 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 is so much easier. All right. So as that's coming, you're going to roll this hand up to get them to start being like this. They'll be flatter. Step over will be easier. All right. Make sense? Go for it. Uh, I'm sorry. Why don't you help me with the tall boys over there when you're ready? So that was the nice part. And I said this is a high five. Mr. Bay, I'm actually going to argue for this. So you can decide whether or not you want to try this. If you want to play, I, I, mm -mm. are you okay? It's like, mm-mm. Find either an okay that does it, the owner, but like, find, you know, arrange yourself in a pattern like, okay, I'll, I'm willing to do this with you. This is great. Okay. So same thing comes in. Boom, boom, boom. Swing back. Whoop, and there's my ass. Yeah. <laughs> and down. Okay. I need a new drawstring for these. Yeah. <laughs> we we cannot. Somebody hit stop. Yeah. <laughs> Just get the jump and the hold. Just get that. And you can imagine if someone didn't realize this was coming and you just leaped up on them, imagine that first version going down that way. They wouldn't pick up on it. All right? So practice, you want to try Practice just the hold and the jump. Do you need to see it again? Yes. Yes, okay. I think so. So he grabs. I grab back. So we're almost identical at this point in time. All right? I'm going to use this, I'm going to go and get above his hips, all right, and wrap my feet around here. Yeah. Just get there. Sorry. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Again, optional. Say, kind of a comfort safety note as part of the training here. Uh, so you're actually going to do the technique to me, but don't take me down until we say, so I'm going to be very clear about this. Uh, so he, uh, Mr. Miles jumps on, boom, here we are. So now he slides down, he's grabbing the backs of the ankles, and the, one of the difficulties here is that we're in a very square position. When you get taken backwards in a square position, you land kind of flat on your back. You potentially hit your head, it's a little, it's a, it's a harder fall to take, you can't just slap down, these legs are in the way. You actually don't have a very good break fall here. So uh, what I recommend is a uh, person on the bottom uh, kind of emphasizes one side a little bit over the other. So say we emphasize this side. And when, as I go down, I'm just going to kind of go toward that side. That is a safe way to practice going down out of this where you're not landing on the flat of your back. That sucks. You get slammed like that two or three times. Your, your night just got like half an hour shorter. Yeah, these so, guys aren't back here. Yeah, these are tatami, not crash mats. Yeah. So, have fun. Add a little tilt. Add a little tilt. Each other's arms. Are they kind of already done? Absolutely. Okay. So now, I'm not just going straight back in. You don't need to. No, I just, just make it sure. I never lost my drawstring about six months ago, so I need to. <laughs> so, he's here, I'm here. Whoa. From here, I'm going to go, I'm going to lengthen my arms, and I'm going to hit on the way, and I'm going to go straight down here. All right, so I'm almost letting myself go down. Notice I kind of purposely landed flat. From here, I'm still here, I need to, I'm going to straighten one leg to get him to turn, and then straighten the other leg. From there. Now, from here, don't worry about the thing. We, boom, we kick, boom, back roll, and just, because it's like at him, that's going to be tougher for him. This is like where, you know, and the ankle breaks and stuff like that. We're not looking at that. We're just looking at the, the whole transition from there to there right now. Okay? So again, you're letting yourself almost just ride down that ride. 
And then when you get down there, fine, push one leg out, and then the other leg holding on to the ankles. Make sense? All right, go. So, uh, Monte, uh, a couple things can, uh, oh, no, Arden, you come back here. <laughs> the, uh, uh, you're perfect for this. So, there's a, there's a few things that can go wrong, so to speak. I go, with, I go down with this and thinking I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to slap this technique in, and they're going to they're gonna take a wide stance. Also, this guy's a strong, stable dude. When I come down, he has that wide stance. I'm trying to get around these ankles. I really can't do it. I, uh, I, oh, my God, okay, barely. But God, that was a lot of work. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll onto a side. And what that does is that gives us knee. Let's rotate to the camera. Rotate. Thank you. Uh, what this does is this gives the knee a little bit of space to slide in here. That gives my arm some space to start coming around this leg. Notice we have this hand up for cover. We're not just kind of grabbing a leg and saying, please don't kick me. We got a hand up for cover. So now we're starting to isolate into this knee and leg, and we might look at developing a knee bar off of this. It's really hard to practice this by yourself. You can, uh, but really it involves having a partner who has some stability. Woo, we slide around. Here we go. I'm feeling pretty happy here. Okay? That's an option. You're welcome to practice it if you'd like, or you might find yourself in that spot by accident when you go down and the person had a wider stance and you thought, or you're just short and hold your Or you can just bring, bring, you can also bring the foot back and just kick his leg out to the side too. I'm sure you do that. You whatever you want to try. This is high flying. Yeah, this is high flying and High flying and low break dancing. Yeah, high flying, low attacks. All right. All right, here we go. A couple more minutes. I As I just mentioned before, who wants to hold me? When? Uh, Arden? Yeah. It is wide. All right. Now, another option too, because I have a lot of hip flexibility here, is I can bring. <laughs> and I can use it there by default. All right, just because I'm going to kick that leg out. He's in, I mean, think about it. He's in this position. Both your legs are right there. He's holding on. Oh, I mean, that, that is just going to screw their structure up. You know, so work with kind of kicking to be easy on that. Because that is a, not the, not, not the funnest position to have your body for. You are, you are a, a human body attached around someone's like lower mid leg and the knee joint is yeah. a thing, so. And it's connected to the ankle bone, which is connected, I think there's a hip bone. There's all connected, guys. Important detail for, for whichever variation you're practicing here, where we're, where we're taking on a single leg. Uh, we've, we've gone down, and here we are, we've, we've, uh, we've tried to go this way. If I stay flat on my back, and I, and I just try to kick this, I'm actually going to really struggle to get into this position. All he has to do is literally pull, or sprawl, or anything like that, and I'm really not in a great place. What we want to do is we want to get onto our shoulder a little bit. Notice how I'm on my left hip and left side. Look at Now we have a nice, easy path here. Yeah, now we're trained. Now we're playing with fire. So don't, um, don't try to do this just flat from your back. You're going to have some tilt. Use mm -hmm. your hips a little bit. That will really help you. Keep going. We can do, um, it's typically done with like, sort of like a bird. Okay. All right, here we go. Do I have a gun? I have a gun. Done. You know, it wasn't intended to use it, but I happened to see it in the ground and flashes a little bit. You know, so I happened to see it. It's like, oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so I had that option to be able to get right in there and do that. It's done with also swords. When there's sword for ones that's actually jumping up on somebody and as you come back, you actually draw the sword out of their scabbard. Mm. So they're just sitting holding you. They look back, they grab their sword, and the problem is with that area, all their. Intestines dropping on you, you know, which but, is filthy. Yeah, it gross, really on that deck. Uh, but it's an option, so there's actually cut with this actually a knife, sword, whole nine yard to be able to get there. All just to close the distance because he's gonna have high his gun, but I'm stuck it right to him. Mm -hmm. And so he, he's holding on on the counter, I was like, I grab it. Make sense? Well, All right, this, it's uh, it's like being a, a razor monkey. 
Mm-hmm. Which is also a great band name. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Okay. okay, so questions on this. Fine, huh? Hold it. Okay, so let's actually go back to that Toby Ari leaping and go with something that we've kind of already seen back. I've already, you know, somewhere kind of familiar with. Um, yeah, yeah, right lunch. We can throw all these leaping skills in from here. That's like, that's, that's like literally. What? I mean, because leaping, it just gets me to a different place a little bit, a little bit, I go a little bit further and I go a little bit faster. Didn't work that bad. Just kidding. This bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because now, not only do I have, I have, I have my whole body on this. All right. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to not torque him, I'm just going to have it here. All right, with a moderate grip. I'm gonna dig in. I'm working down that way. All right, it's not as bad as it seems, is it? No. Okay, you see it? We're getting here, and use that forward to your arm to take them down. All right, make sense? Let's go. Just some. You're on. Just some intricacies, real fast. So if, I, if I could borrow Jackie, so so the same grab's coming. And, oh, Jesus! Here, here we go. We've gotten to this point. If my weight is here, if if I if right now my weight is over my left leg, um, I'm actually not going to get near as far as I think I will. This is actually a, kind of a, a somewhat stiff circumstance. Um, I, I'm going to get about that far. Yeah, here's the trick. Yeah. We need to make sure that that foot's out in front of us here a little bit, and my weight. My hips are transferring out over that leg. That's what frees us up to move. If you try to do Tobiari, for example, backwards, go ahead, everyone do this. Get your weight on your back leg. And then show me backwards Tobiari. Kind of, you can feel, I want you to go as far as you can. One more time, I, I want to see who goes the farthest. I will give you a gold star. Who's gonna go the farthest? Okay, yeah, see, it's getting the point. I'm gonna get that one to Arden. But it was because he was like, oh, my God, I'm going to fall. <laughs> and then he went off. Oh. had a very good cross step in there. Yeah. Yes, yes. So well, well, that's what it does. It necessitates the need for this, yeah. hip, for this hip inside to go way back. We don't want that. So uh, so generally speaking, if you're going to be doing Tobiari in any direction, if you're already leaning that way, you don't have the step. You do have it the other way. Just like if I'm leaning back here, I have Tobiari for it. As you're working these techniques, Pay attention to where your weight is. If it's back here on this leg, here we are, kind of in come on, then it becomes very easy to do. If I have come around with this and here I am, I use too much upper body, shoot, I'm leaning forward. This Tobiari board is really not the idea. I can kind of do one to the side and kind of bring her with me, but it's just going to be a little ugly and it's not really a perfect outcome. Does that make sense, everybody? Do you want to see the relationship between uh, where your weight is and which direction you can go? So let's give them that option, actually, just for fun. Okay. Uh, okay. So based on where you are, so start, that punch comes in. Oh my god, I'm wide. If I'm here, okay, I'm going to go this way. All right. But if I find that, oh, I happen to be here, I'm going to go this way. But as I go this way, I'm going to kind of move around here a little bit. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, now, that wasn't too bad on the hand. It's more just scary as shit. All right, so if I'm here, I've gotten to this, oh. Leaping over this way. As it comes, I have to be ah, over here, you know, here. Oh, I'm just gonna Leap over this way. I'm gonna be over here. Pivot point on his hand, actually. I'm using this and actually kind of coming up and going around to put his hand right here. Here. As I'm pulling on this, like on this, going backwards, I have the I have the aspect that he can stretch out long. Right? He can stretch out through his whole posterior chain trying to go through. His anterior chain will not work like that. Will not stretch out that way. So I have this pivot point, and as I'm pulling up and around, I'm kind of pulling and going around it. We've seen it, we've done this one before, mm-hmm. right? I'm just now doing it. Not that bad. It looks way worse than it is. Stay with this, sure. but let's let's change things a little bit. Let's change the response. I bet most of you have seen this or had this happen. Ah, I'm gonna grab this Paul. <laughs> Who's Paul? <laughs> so uh, same grabs coming in. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> moved off. 
and, uh, and we both get in, and he brings his hand to his shoulder. He's just, he's strong, he feels, his, he feels his hand getting vulnerable, and he pulls it back. You've had training partners do this to you by accident, I guarantee it. Uh, so, uh, so, oh God, Jesus, yeah, here we go. All of a sudden, like, I was planning on going here. Oh God, I got pulled into here. Um, I might try this, but I'm, he's too, he's too, he's too much of a beast. <laughs> That's not gonna get there. But, same thing, he's got this arm pulled up. We can go up and over. And this is the same idea. There we go. Same, same idea as what we were just looking at. Just instead of it traveling as far laterally, it's just traveling a bit more vertically. Thank you very much. Uh, by myself. Here we go. That's so cool. I love the screenshot of this patient saying, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you mean? <laughs> you are? Um, so so that's an option. It's, it's the same footwork pattern. It's the same body movement pattern, just pumped into the air vertically as opposed to shooting right. more horizontally. That's the difference. Yes, sir. I, I didn't see it, not to be. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, sorry. Who do you want? Who do you want? Ah, there we right, go. Right. Yeah, so, oh, oh, geez, oh, yeah, so I go to what he pulls his Jesus. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to pull you. Yeah, that's the strike. Yeah. <laughs> Rip, rip, right up and over. And you get this nice arm break at the end, too. You actually get a nice little elbow in there. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, by myself. That's it. <laughs> the fact that you have the tights on just yeah. makes it even better. Jump it, you're also fat. So have fun, guys. Uh, Don't go on the internet. Oh, my God. Let's give us a different uh, option. All right, I've already. Uh, I got, got one. So basically, we've all seen this Soto, right? <laughs> Very hard to hold somebody leaping through there like that. But I'm doing the same technique. I'm doing the same technique. Just don't make it in here. I don't know. But basically, look, dragon. Now, you don't have to do these. Okay, okay. And Toyari! You can go slow on this. Get the full. And just work the body mechanics to get your to get it feeling right. Don't try to do this with speed. Try to do it with um, technique. And again, just some of these more center. Here. That's it. Can't do it from here. Gotta be a little bit wide. Hold, transition. And remember he's holding on to you. Don't, don't go back. Don't worry about shoving him on the shoulders. He's all of a sudden, oh shit. Um, okay. Super important, uh, something Mr. White's doing that it's super easy not to. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. Um, uh, please don't let me lose too hard. I'm gonna go down to see that. Uh, we need to take our upper body with us. If you leap <laughs> and, uh, and you don't bring your upper body with you, uh, if you relax that, I you <laughs> You better be ready to do so, yeah. You better be ready to do your Yeah, it's, it's, it's called like spine to ground style. How'd you like yeah. it? You know, it doesn't work. I thought out that too was well. Zach Swayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you're gonna go out about style, right? Uh, so make sure you keep your upper body with you. You might even use a bow can or something. So yeah, safety note. Thank you. So it's the same thing, but from my lapel. Decrease uh, distance quickly. Change angles. Uh, change angles suddenly. Uh, as opposed to kind of being someone that can, you know, be solid, but kind of only plod around the mat a little bit. Um, even uh, even uh, having having good body movement is great, but it's nice to be able to have to be able to lengthen it and have mm -hmm. a broader sense of what's going on. So here's what I'd like us to do. Uh, I'd like us to partner up and grab some gloves. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Any gloves, any gloves. Hopefully not too thin. <laughs> and you guys are gonna be hitting each other. Well, try to, right? Be hitting each other. Trying to. Oh, well, maybe on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be taking a swing at him. Yeah. You gotta give her your option, Carol. Yeah. And uh, what uh, what I'd like us to practice is I'd like us to practice uh, evading some punches without fighting back. Uh, we're going to just practice moving around. Um, consider this just a little bit of dirt time, some experience, kind of some live drilling. Um, there's not really a plan for this, Jack, if, if I could borrow you. So right now I have my partner who has gloves, she has been looking around, and uh, she's going to 
throw any, uh, yeah, so we, oh, sorry, I'll take my hands off too. Uh, so she throws a punch, woo, we're just trying to move. She comes around, she throws another punch, woo, whoa, jeez. Uh, so we're adding a little bit of head movement, woo, trying to swing around, let's up a little bit. Woo, maybe, maybe it's Toby Arch, woo, kind of an issue, one, woo, woo, staying real close all of a sudden. Uh, just practicing, uh, trying not to get punched. Uh, without having to go, you know, uh, Keanu Reeves, or uh, without getting decked. A good opportunity to practice, well, what if I use some distance? What if I keep it tight? What if I use a straight angle? Um, if you want to have hands, I'm not saying you can't, but I don't want you fighting back with them. I don't want this. This isn't testing movement. This isn't playing with movement. Or playing with evasiveness. I don't mind. Ooh, level change. Woo. <laughs> yeah, cool, not that. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Very simple drill. Nothing too crazy. Any questions? Start slow. This first two will feel like no problem, and but from this will start slowly breaking down when you get about three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Alright, so start slow and keep it slow. Cool. Have fun too. Good job, Troy. Alright. That was fun. Yeah. A little, a little cardio in the middle of the whole thing. So Again, this cost, so let's, let's actually look at this kind of from an easy thing. All right, how can we actually use this without having doing a lot of explosive, explosive energy? All right, how can we actually try to just have this be okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just here, it just works. Um, so, Jack, can I borrow you? Just this goes. Um, so, Yeah, uh, quick escape. 
Uh, there's, there, I was watching in here to throw some punches, and I saw quite a few punches whip because you guys, woo, crap, I'm in a bad position. Ripped right out of it. We were talking about using this sort of footwork as you're getting closed into a wall and you're losing space. There's one escape path, and you better seize it now uh, before, it, before it disappears. Uh, so there is use to it. The, the con to it is you're kind of in the air. And when you are in the air, you don't have a lot of control over the, uh, over the final position of that landing unless you have really good control of how you launch. Um, so that's, that's maybe the downside, but I, I, I like to fly, and it's, and it's fun to take some time to, it's fun to take some time to do that. Um, Mr. Whaler. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I originally was gonna put this, this Fubi technique from um, uh, Shinden Furyu into the fire aspect that we did when we were doing elements, but I was just like, well, kind of dusty. You know, um, but like, so we talked about like, okay, so we are like, oh, leaping, okay, great, let's have leaping fire. You know, let's throw let's throw a fubi in there and just I mean that aspect because again different than we, we usually don't just attack to close space like that we maybe defend and kind of come in and take them down and work the angles never just holy shit you know come right on and, and hence why it's called dominate um, and so I'm like oh that's a great one when we get to tobiari it's just well this and I was thinking specifically of you two you know big guys will launch you and you're, you're you can't get away and it's just you know hold oh god you know. Um, you guys did well. I was hesitant on even pulling that out because it's such a physical technique. I mean, as you can see, like someone could just slam into you, you can go right straight down, they could hit on you, they could accidentally headbutt each other. Um, so give yourself, you know, a little pat on the back because you guys actually did that really well. I was very hesitant just because it's uh, very aggressive. You have to have some kind of strength to be able to absorb that and then go through it. And so, thank God nobody got hurt that way. We'll show, we'll show Hashi. <laughs> That's okay, it's not gonna be on YouTube or anything. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so no thoughts, questions, concerns. We will be closed Monday on Indigenous People Day, but we're gonna stay open on Saturday. Alright? You guys have a great one. Good job. Yes, Mark, you're late to the party. You're late to the party. Oh, sorry. I'm very sorry, I was distracted. I was chewing on this bone.